Hello everybody, this is a handheld collection, if you couldn't tell from the title or what you're seeing right now. I thought, hey, let's show off my handheld collection since I don't know if I'm going to get any anytime soon. And I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. It is majority Nintendo because what handheld collection isn't just mostly Nintendo. But we're going to be starting out with the two that aren't Nintendo. And only have two. We have the Sega Game Gear here. This actually does work, though I need two batteries and it's missing the battery cover. Though the sound it doesn't work, but you can't plug the he headphones in. This is actually probably the worst console because the Game Gear is so fickle that even if it has better hardware than the Game Boy, technically speaking, it's our limitations bring it down so much. So, but yeah, it's a very interesting console to have. And it is very big. And it takes batteries, a lot of batteries, and it goes through them fast. Here is the only other handle I have, PSP. Don't have a Vita or the other models. This is just okay. It's impressive, but I don't really have much desire to play it, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I wonder if I have a game in here. UMD. Yeah. It looks like I do. What was I playing? Lego Indiana Jones. Nice. So, right, all right, we'll go to the Nintendo ones and I'll go from them in order. This is actually more of a recent find, but I got a good deal on this. This is a Game Boy Pocket. It's the uh, silver one. It's like the slimmed down version of the original Game Boy. So, it's basically the same as the original Game Boy. But this one actually has black and white visuals rather than the gray and black. So, I don't really have any use to play with this. It's also missing its uh, battery cover. But this one's interesting because it uses AAA batteries. Hmm. There was an odd reason to play it. This is because I have this, which is one of my go-tos. Game Boy Color, which of course plays Game Boy, same shape. Better shape actually, it's more curved. This one actually has the battery pack. This is the game I'm playing, Pokemon Crystal. And plays Game Boy Color games. The other thing, problem out of this console is that it's not backlit, which is unfortunate. And I don't know if I want it backlit or not, because it's a little pricey and I get to, gotta take it apart. And I'm tempted, I was like, do I back like this one or that one, which is the next console. But this is very good. Game Boy Advance, I got this from my cousin. He, this is just be hers. But I bought it off them. So, yeah. This is a console I really like the feel of. It feels pretty good. It's got that nice, gla this is the Glacier version, obviously. And, of course, the Game Boy Color is the Lime. The biggest problem is the backlit kills this. And that's why I see a lot of these and these. But a lot of these recently get modded just for that. Because this is a great feeling console. It's why Nintendo didn't have this backlit in 2001. I will never know. But that's why they made the SP. Now these are my originals. I did pick up this nice red one online. Just because I won one. And then of course my fiance had to pick up this Pikachu one. But the SP is nice. I just don't like the way it feels. Uh, the clamshell doesn't... I feel like it's better on the DS because it's wider. It's a little too small for my hands, and the buttons don't. They feel fine, but the plate, but just the just too square. It's not as rounded as the Game Boy Color, which fits better. Even the D pad feels way better. Like, that doesn't feel good compared to this. And the uh, more comfortable shape of the Game Boy Advance, which also has the better. D these D pads are pretty much the same. I do not like this SP Game D pad, which is made because it's flipped over. Also. My main reason to play this is uh, mostly for the Game Boy slot, or I guess advanced games. But I can do DS for Game Boy Advance games. So Game Boy games, you can't really play it, which you can, but it sticks out the front here, the bottom here, where the other ones, they stick out the top, which is fine here. Game Boy Color fits fine. And uh, let me showcase the problem with this, is that it, it, when you're playing it like this, like, look at that, it's right into your hand. And this gets knocked out a lot easier than the other ones. Like, this one, you won't have any problems getting knocked out. Maybe this might hit it, but it's very hard to do that. Here, it's so easy to hit this, and then it glitches out because it's got loose. So that's the reason why I don't like the SP design, even though it's pretty popular. And I want a whole spiel about that. This one's actually a modded Pikachu one. So it's backlit. It's pretty cool. Got a little Pikachu. Nice. I'm not sure if this is a reshell or just their actual official one, but who knows. So that's all the Game Boys. I need the original. It's the one of the only ones that I don't have that I feel like I need. 
I just never see it. So we're moving on to the DS. Here's the original DS model, which actually not bad. Even though it looks weird, it's actually not bad. Even though I know these hinges break. I don't have this one broken. It's got a weird power button. It looks odd, but feels pretty good. The screen isn't as bright as the light. But I actually prefer, like playing this for uh, GBA games because it feels pretty good. And it has a very odd stylus. Okay, it's over here. Yeah, this is this is a console I didn't grow up with. I did grow up with the DS, but I didn't grow up with this model. So I was like, wait, the DS looked like this originally? Because I grew up with this bad boy. This is my first ever handheld console, believe it or not. The DS Lay got this in 2007. And a long time ago, the hinge broke. I don't even know how. I don't remember ever dropping this thing because I was always careful with my DS. But yeah, I still have it. The reason I... It's, it's a fine console and it's technically the best way to play GBA games. The only problem is the hinge is broken. And yeah, that, that gets pretty annoying. There might be a way to fix that, but I am not exactly sure how to. Yeah, I got this nice crimson, I believe is what this one called, where it's metallic red and black. But the, the light design is better than the... Uh, the original DS, but there's some original DS I do like. Uh, my fiance has her own DS Lite. This is the uh, pearl pink, I believe. This was used, and it has dart inside of it. The the pink, I, I mean, this is fully clean, but you just can't get get to, can't just, yeah, just can't get to that. But yeah, this one doesn't have a broken hinge, so it's technically better. But you know, do just their own. Now we have a bunch of DSIs because they're actually pretty cheap and find them quite often. Here's my original DSi. It's actually kind of broken at this point. I tried to mod it. Here's a Sonic cover that I got in it a long time ago. It'd be nice to fix this, but yeah, it's my original DSi. The second console I ever got, I think. It was pretty cool. Flip note was awesome. But I also got a black version. DSi was really cool. The first DS Nintendo console to have, like, much of... Actually, probably not. I think the N64... Only in Japan had the extra stuff like that, but to have that console that had a camera on it, it was like, whoa, whoa, that's cool. Well, for if you didn't know any better like me. And, of course, there is the uh, pink version of the console. It feels pretty smooth. It's not my favorite feeling one. And this is the first console to have that, the gray, light gray uh, charger, which I have a billion of because each one of these came with those. And here is the XL. Which, I remember hearing about this, like, what is that for fat people? Because I was a dumb kid. But yeah, this thing's pretty bulky. I don't think I ever really played this. Because I got, I only really game, handled a game on the DS consoles for, like, certain ones. Because if I'm playing a DS game, I'm usually playing with 3DS. But this is a huge console. Like, jeez Louise. The buns are about the same size. But the, the screen is, like, look at that. I forgot how big this one was. Very interesting. It doesn't feel bad. And it looks like this one doesn't have a stylus. But this is the uh, blue DSi XL. Moving on to the 3DS. I had a red 3DS metallic. And that one got stolen. A house, My house got robbed in, I forgot what year it was, but like seven years ago, I think. And that was stolen. I love that console. And my brother also had one of the same. But I did pick up this one used. So it's the same as my brother's. But mine was red initially. I did love the original 3DS, but unfortunately, it said it got stolen. I had transferred my data before that, so thank goodness. But yeah, 3DS, this console looks really weird to me now. It feels really small, but I played a lot on this thing. I actually really love the Circle Pad still this day, and 3D feature is pretty, really neat, even if it isn't the most useful function ever. But yeah, this thing is pretty cool. It, but it smears a lot because it's all metallic, but it also looks really cool at the same time. I was pretty big in 3DS. Still am, actually. I love a 3DS. But this, uh, does it have its stylus? Yeah. This stylus was always so weird. Like, whoa, it zooms out. Yeah, Nintendo never had a consistent stylus, and the fact that each one seemed to have their own stylus was always kind of annoying. Here is, uh, my favorite console, the, my 3DS XL, which is the one I transferred all my dad to. I probably, probably the most played console. Unfortunately, this hinge broke a little bit. It still works. But I gotta see that. Yeah, that's not. I don't even know how that happened. One day, I just cracked, and then over time, recently, it just like came loose. So let's see if I fix that. I got a replacement stylus in it. But yeah, this thing is pretty good still. What was in there? Oh yeah, I was testing this game, Plants vs Zombies. Oddly enough, it's pretty much a direct port from the PC game. So not bad. 
But I used to have this whole Sonic Hero stickers on here, but they on here and here, but they kind of chipped off because of where they were. This thing's seen a lot of use, so I had to transfer my debt over. I'll look into that or get this one fixed. I do like this one. The way this one feels just feels really good. And I do love this sticker. I got it a long time ago. Yeah, this, this is one of my favorites. And here is a, what a DS 3DS XL looks like without the stickers. And uh, damage. This is a uh, fiance picked this one up because she wanted her own. Because 3DS XL is the most comfortable model, 3DS. And 3DS is the best way to play DS games, in my opinion, because it because it catalogs all your DS titles. That's why I play on this 3DS all the time because I like seeing my playtime. Here is one of the oddest Nintendo consoles they ever released, the 2DS. And if you want a 3DS, it's the cheapest one to go, even though it doesn't go 3D. But yeah, this is just an odd-feeling console, even to this day. And since it's the least goes to the elements, I guess it has a little dirt on it, or dust. Just lovely. The L and R buttons feel really weird, chunky. Your game goes up here, it's like, it's on, like on a slab. Some people like this model, this design. I am not one of them. I, I was one of the people that thought this was kind of a weird. I mean, I understand it was a cheaper version. But call, even just calling it the 2DS just felt like, what? It's not bad to play on. It just doesn't It doesn't feel right, in my opinion. If you're one of those people who likes it, good on you. I am not one of them. I just think it feels a little odd. Mostly because the buttons are up here. Like, okay, that's fine. But the, this screen is harder, harder to use because of that. And I do not have the thir new 3DS models. But I do have the new 2DS model, which I got from my fiance. Even though I think I've used it more. Because this is a really cool model. It's probably one of the best. I might transfer my data to this one if I can. Even though I like this one. So this basically has all the new features, but it's 2D. It doesn't have a 3D feature. It looks really sleek. This I got it in purple, if you can tell. And uh, this 2DS is technically a blue-black. I think there's an all-blue one. But the purple one looks super sleek. Look at that. I know there's like face plates that they can change out. Yeah, this released late into the 3DS lifespan. It actually went, I think this came out when the Switch came out, but it was the last, like the ultimate model. Or in the fact it doesn't do 3D, I think it's a pretty cool console. And it just, it just feels good. So we're moving on from the DS slash 3DS into the Switches, which are also hybrid consoles because they go on the TV too. And, yeah, we got a couple ones. We'll go with the least interesting one, the Switch Lite. Apparently, my fiancé claimed she got this for free from some our friend. They didn't want it anymore. The Switch Lite is not bad. It actually has a better D-pad. But, yeah, not being on play on TV is, is a little bit of a downside in the smaller screen as well. But, hey, it's useful for that. It would be nice if the regular Switch had an option to have a D-pad or in this terrible button layout. Uh, here's my original Switch. It originally came with the red and blue Joy-Cons, but I had to switch them out. For obvious reason, that reason is Joy-Con Drift. I played a crap out of this console, but, you know, my fiance got me an OLED, and I transferred all the data to there, and I didn't go back. And this is her Switch, basically the same thing, but different Joy-Cons. And of course, she had to get an OLED, but this one is the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet one, which looks pretty killer, not gonna lie. And this is the last console, my Switch OLED which is awesome. I do like this one a lot. It feels, it feels it, they look mostly the same, but it just feels better. It's got that nicer, clear screen. It's OLED, obviously, because it says it in the title. And it just feels good. And that is my whole handheld collection. What is your favorite handheld? Which one did you grow up? What's your first one? What's your least favorite? Well, I'll tell you mine. I grew up with this one. Well, I grew up with a bunch of these, but this is the one I first had. My least favorite is this. And my favorite is this. Though it might be this, but who knows. Thank you for watching and keep on gaming.